Hello friends! In today's episode, we are going to show you some of the most popular street food restaurants right here in Bali. In Bahasa Indonesia, they call them warungs. And some of these most popular warungs, they specialize in only one dish and they have been cooking that dish for generations. Time to makan makan! Welcome to Ubud! Probably one of the most famous chicken rice. Ta -da! Tolong beri saya uh, satu nasi ayam biasa, uh, satu nasi ayam special. It's here. Yeah. Wow. So what I have here is the nasi ayam biasa. It means nasi ayam normal. So this is the normal serving that they give you at this warung here. And it's amazing. It looks like such a plate of goodness. I can't wait to get started. But basically, this plate here is 26,000 Indonesian rupiah. And you get a whole plate of chicken goodness. I have a uh, nasi ayam special, it's a little bit bigger than uh, normal portions and I have separate rice and soup and it costs total 35,000 rupiah. There is nasi puti, white rice, already like, you know, drizzled with some amazing sauce, some um, really really cool dried chilies, you've got crispy chicken skin, kacang peanuts, very very nice, sir. adds a lovely texture for where you crunch it and mix it together with the rest of the food. You got some satay lili, the stewed chicken of nasi ayam of course. This is the heart of the dish with chilies and everything. You can see the red chilies just popping out at you. Okay, so now we're gonna tuck in. It looks amazing. Mmm, look at that. Oh my god. Woo! So juicy everything, Ugh. mouth watering, absolutely. So I, the magic of Balinese street food is always to mix everything together a little bit. So for my first mouth, I'm mixing the chilies, the chicken, the lawa, the kacang. Right, this is my amazing first bite. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, mm. It's crunchy. It's spicy. The chicken is juicy. The lava is fresh. Oh. oh my goodness me. It's like a hundred flavors dancing around on your palate at the same time. So nice. I really like this uh, special because they have soup. Yeah, I like wet rice. So nice. Mm. It's so juicy. Mm. A little bit spicy. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Mm. I love it. And I love this soup. Ooh. Yeah. Awesome. Oh my god. You try? Mm. Nice, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. The soup mm. is like a herbal. Spiced yeah. chicken broth, very, very nice. Yeah. Chicken wings. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Oh, now I feel coconut tea. It's still in coconut. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
half a boiled Look egg and they've cooked this for hours in the bumbu in the sauce you know mm. Look at that so it's not just boiled egg anymore, it's boiled egg full of flavours from all the chicken and that has been stewing in for hours. So. Mm. Mm. Time for satay. So nice. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit sweet, mm. not salty, but spicy. Mm. Yeah, nice spices. I love it. Mm. So good. Oh my god. Nasi I didn't think the spice was that bad, but the spice has hit. When will I ever learn this lesson? Now it's burning and I'm off to order an ice diller. I need something milk to cool the spice. <laughs> um, yeah. S diller, my new discovery. Um, but this is here to help me put out that fire in my mouth. <laughs> Sweet, sweet relief. Mm. Mm. It's a wonderful dessert with fruits, gelé, and ice, and some coconut milk. This is gorgeous. So rich and full of goodness. Mm. For everyone watching this channel who can't really take pedas, can't really stand spicy food, this is the formula for eating here. You order the chicken rice, you enjoy how great it is, how spicy, you cry a bit, and then you order the ice cellar. <laughs> it's a really good one by the way, this ice cellar here. Mm. Okay, snack shopping time. Okay. I've had this before. They only have one left right now. But this was amazing. It's something chocolatey. Very, very nice. Couple of the green ones. Couple of the yellow ones too because they're just so good. <laughs> okay, we've got a little bit of uh, chicken skin, kulit ayam. Ibu says that this is something inside the chicken. <laughs> we will try this too, yeah? Yay! I got something kacang crispy, peanut, crispy peanut stuff. <laughs> Okay, so finally it's snack time. We're gonna try our lovely platter of snacks. Because I have had this before, this is what I'm gonna start with because I have very good memories of this little guy. I will try this uh, chicken fried ski. Oh, look at that thing popping out of its plastic wrapper. So, what I think this is, it's some kind of like a chocolate pancake that's uh, with, with a really delicious inside filling and uh, the whole thing additionally is drizzled in some kind of sweet syrup it's very very nice Selamat makan! Mm, mm. Mm, got the chocolate oozing out of that mm. Usus ayam How I guess it's deep fried chicken skin no, 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 this is not the chicken skin, this is the insides of the chicken. She said chicken inside, usus. Kuli ayam. Yeah, this is deep fried chicken skin. And we will try it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Smell fatty. Crispy, mm, so yummy, mm. Mm. super awesome snacks. <laughs> Did you hear this? <laughs> okay, this was one of my later picks at the snack stand, but she said it was pisang banana. It looks really interesting. Let's try. Because I know the other thing that the uh, Evo recommended for us is banana chips. Those are very very nice. But they're not so unusual. They're just like the normal banana chips. Um, look at this. This looks so bizarre. It's like dark brown flattened banana. Deep fried. <laughs> mm. 
I hope it's banana and not banana skin. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay. I think this is banana sliced very, very thinly and coated in some kind of caramel syrup, I think, because that is a very sweet, caramelly taste. Um, it's got texture. Not exactly crispy, crispy, but bordering on crispy. Oh my god. This is the find of the century, maybe. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Okay, banana chips are good, but this one, hands down, very special. <laughs> Dali will try. Mm. It's very remind me sun dry bananas, mm, but it's raw. Mm. And inside, I don't know what is it, but very sweet and very yummy. Mm. I actually always see a lot of people chewing on this everywhere around Bali where we go but I've actually never tried this uh, peanutty cracker before <laughs> okay peanut cracker here I come oh that's a nice small piece right at the top there you go here is a close-up and here goes peanut cracker mm. Mm. okay I get why people eat this a lot <laughs> okay so that's so there's like crispy cracker in which they've embedded fried peanuts. The overall taste is savory. It's a salty snack. But what's very nice about this is that it's got two layers of texture. So the peanut, the kacang, when you crunch into it, there's a deeper flavor of peanut and more crunching through because you know you've got to crush the peanut. But then the cr cracker itself is crispy and thin so it's nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> Time to try chicken inside. Deep fried. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Look at this shape. Something special. Is it little interesting? Bit, <laughs> it's a little bit bitter. It's bitter? Oh yeah. I think I have some guys who really like it. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. Even it's not bad. I just never try these snacks, this type. <laughs> Okay, chicken insides, here goes. Interesting is a good word for this one. <laughs> Why is this chicken insides? It's not organs, it's not. Maybe it's intestines, which accounts for the very strange flavor. <laughs> chicken insides, guys. <laughs> Let's round back to the nice little cakes. So my favorite was the chocolate one, which we have already devoured <laughs> half each. Um, now we have a green version and a yellow version. I don't know what, but the yellow one is dripping syrup on my lap. <laughs> mm, oh, they're all coated in syrup and they're very juicy. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Salamat makan. Salamat makan. Salamat makan. Mm. 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 Oh my god, these are so good. No, this is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Mmm, yeah. there's some nice yummy feeling in there. Very cute, very nice. Okay, mm. let's exchange. Mm. 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 Oh, actually the green one is nicer. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think they have coconut and chocolate. They yeah, just coconut and I think sweet susu. Nice and they're susu. all dripping with syrup. <laughs> And the filling is very nice. Okay, so definitely get these cakes when you come here. Very good, awesome. Um, so now this is it for Ubud. Let's go move to Nusa Dua. Before we continue, here's a quick word about Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on an amazing variety of topics. I started exploring Skillshare's classes at first through a free trial exactly like this one. 
we just started on YouTube back then and we wanted to learn and improve on so many different skills for that. Skillshare ended up being the platform that taught us better editing and videography for our YouTube videos and taught me how to post for photos, how to tell a better story. The best part is that it doesn't only just cover creative and professional stuff, but also really cool lifestyle topics, including things like cooking, painting, sewing, and even self-care. I recently watched How to Be Happier, Stoicism Masterclass by Ali Abdal. Not only was it a great introduction to Stoic philosophy, but Ali's insights applied to life's challenges like dealing with criticism or handling relationships. It's just really helpful to just, you know, ground yourself and improve your handle on life. <laughs> because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, if you are one of the first 1,000 viewers to click on the link in the description below, you get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. So you can explore Skillshare's entire class library online for one month, absolutely free, if you're interested. Nusa Dua, home to some of the most luxurious resorts and restaurants here in Bali. And also to one of the most popular body grueling varung in Bali. You know which one I'm talking about? It's Park Dobios. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh okay, very nice. Ah okay, biasa ya yeah? and special ya. Yeah? Okay, thank you, makasih banyak. <laughs> oh look at this all in front of me. Fantastic. Okay, so here if it's busy in front at the shop, you get two long queues of people, one for the cashier one in front of the um, stall where they're busy packing the food. So if you queue in front of the stall, that's the line for takeaways. You need to queue in front of the cashier for the dine-in. And uh, here basically you order at the cashier, you pay for your food, and then you get a receipt, and then you just go off, find a seat, and you wait for your food to be delivered. They're very magical that way to figure out where you're seated. I have a normal serving portion here at Park Dobils. So this is the nasi babi guling for 45,000 rupiah. Yes, and I am go to like always for bigger portions. This is much more larger portions. Come with separate rice, with soup, and this costs 80,000 rupiah. Yeah, but I think this looks quite mm. worth it if you're hungry because this looks like it's got almost double yeah. the toppings of my normal portion. It looks really, really yummy and delicious. Yeah, mouth watering. Yeah. So excited. Makan, makan. Salamat makan. <laughs> this little plate of babi goodness looks so good and smells so amazing. I'm so excited. First off, we have Sambal goreng. This looks absolutely fried to perfection. It's basically like, you know, fried red chilies um, with garlic. So you can see the garlic, you can see the chilies. Mm, I'm already drooling when I'm <laughs> just doing this. Okay, underneath that, there's a bit of lawa. Uh, they got the fresh uh, beans, you know, that they make with um, coconut shavings uh, into a balanese salad um, that's usually one of my favorite things you know it's usually crunchy and very fresh with a bit of uh, lime oh I see bean sprouts mm -hmm. interesting very nice and of course the star of today's show is Barbie and here we have a few different kinds we've got um, crispy Barbie skin I believe this is also skin um, much as they like to do this uh, fried chicken skin as well, this is usually very, very good, very crispy. And then 
there is of course the star of the show which is always always the slices of grilled pork skin which is usually if it's done well very crispy but pure fat below like if you look at this one like if you flip it on the flip side it's just a thin layer of fat and on the top part on the top part it's this one looks crispy babies <laughs> so and here we have this fantastic um, meat this uh, grilled meat of the pig so you can see it's like just uh, grilled meat looking very juicy and succulent topped with all the spices that Barbie Guling usually comes with and the spices are usually my favorite part this is a beautiful blend <sighs> Okay, lastly you have some bits of like what looks like pork meat shavings <laughs> but mm, marinated and cooked <laughs> very tasty crispy looking and of course and lastly there's always that stick of satay that always appears with Balinese cuisine always so good you never get tired of this little stick of goodness Okay, so amazing, amazing Barbie Guling. Mouth is already watering just from arranging this. <laughs> so excited for my first bite and mm -hmm. oh my god, mm. so good, so juicy, succulent meat with the spices. And the sambal goreng, the sambal goreng. Okay, it sure is spicy, but it's so fragrant. Oh my god. Going for the soup. You have cilantro, you got spring onions, a bit of chilies, and. Oh, oh, that is some salty, flavorful. Really deep broth. It's a light broth, actually not too salty, which is great because um, sometimes it's too salty and I don't like it at all with the Barbie Guling. This one has just the right amount of um, salty punch, but a lot of flavor. And unusually, this soup has a lot of meat, which is very generous of them. Very often, the soup is just pretty much broth and a bit of bones. Yeah. Mm. Hey, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey. Mmm. Oh, amazing! So fresh, so juicy. Oh. Okay. Now I'm ready to try the crowning glory of every Barbie Guling dish. So aside from the sambal goreng, the meat, let's pack on a bit of crispy skin. Mmm! Mmm! The skin is always the best part. That skin, so good. Unbelievable. Amazing. Mmm! Mmm! It's crispy, the fat tastes so good beneath the skin. Amazing. Oh, so much heaven, so much enjoyment in one simple dish. Mm. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks really crispy. Mm. Oh, yeah. I feel there a little bit smokiness because they cook on charcoal and they make all charcoal by themselves, they burn wood. Spices. I don't know what is it, but yes, yeah, a little bit salty, yeah, lemon grassy, 
it's very nice. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely new to eat with this mm, with this pork. Mm. Mm. Let's go try this one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's like home soup. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is undisputedly my favorite Balinese dish. Mm. It's a huge, huge toss-up always for me. I struggle in between nasi ayam and babi guling as to which one is my favorite dish, but I think this has to be the winner. This has to be the winner. Yay! What about satay? Here I see it's one piece of fat and meat and all satay the same. Mm. So nice. It's sweet. It's caramelization. Mm. Super smoky, which is so enjoyable in the satay. Mm. Beautiful. Very yummy. Mm, you're nice. Some very crispy stuff. I don't know what is it. Now we will try. So much flavor when you take a bite of everything on your plate with a bite of the satay and a bit of soup. Mm. Amazing. So one thing I love about Indonesian cuisine is that there's always so many, so many elements of freshness and crispiness to it, like these crackers. Now I see why Pak Dofil's Babi Guling is very famous. Yeah, it's so interesting that Babi Guling has its entire own subculture here, that uh, different warungs all have their own styles and traditional methods of cooking it and all the Babi Guling fans have their own favorite places as to where the best Babi Guling can be found. Yeah, we hope you enjoy our part one of best street food in Bali. Yeah, we plan for this to be a whole series in which we show you the best street food war rooms in all the different parts of Bali that you can visit. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, please click like for our video and subscribe our channel. Yeah, see you in our next adventures. Yeah, bye! bye.